Hey everyone, Shiver 1000 here. Monkey 1000. We're going to do an unboxing today. Let's see what's in this box. I will tell you it's slot cars, but I'm not going to tell you what. It's not going to be in the title, as you saw. But they're really cool. So let's get you pointed down here. Let's open these cars up, see what we got. Okay guys, so we got a couple new cars. Monkey wanted a couple new cars, didn't you, Monk? Check out my knife. Yeah. It's cool. That's a mm -hmm. cool knife. Blades are in here. Mm -hmm. You can adjust it and do different things. Where'd you get that? This was your dad's. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Someday maybe we'll just do a video on this. It's pretty cool. I wonder where he got that. Was it your dad's? I don't know. Or did it come in some of that free stuff I got? Those um, free tools at one time. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it might have been in there because there was a lot of antique tools in there too. Yeah, I don't know. Was. Yeah. I, I still think this came from your dad. I think Curtis. this was in the toolbox. But. Mm. And here we go. And we got our pump. Yay! For the pressure washer. And we got uh, the wand and the tips. Okay, so first, Monkey wanted this car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't you, Monk? Yep. So, this is Monkey's car. My car. Isn't that cool? I guess think Richard Petty car. Yep. Now these are supposed to run flawlessly, but the guy, both these cars came from the same seller, but he charged me, and as you can see, they're in one box, but he charged me for two shipping. Don't like that. Coming from the same place, same. You know, going to the same area, which is here. So, now this is the 440 X2. Mm -hmm. It's got the two extra magnets right there. Right there's one, and right there's one. Yay. I hope it's stay on the track. So, I don't have enough metal there, but. Mm. Tires look good gonna need to pick up shoes cleaned maybe adjusted cool okay, so there's monkey's car mm -hmm. now mine's mine's super badass it's better than that one nope we'll yeah. see what do you guys think okay so you got the Richard Petty car here mm -hmm. a legend without a doubt that's right but I can't be intimidated you know why do you know why I can't be intimidated? I have no idea. Because I am the intimidator. Uh-huh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt. That's right. <laughs> do you like that play on words? Yeah, cool I one. got the play on words. <laughs> I do like the way they have them packaged. And again, it is the 440 X2. See the two magnets there? And so these things, so it's supposed to work flawlessly. It's in, it's in real good shape. I mean, there's some wear on the sides there. Mm -hmm. You know, from picking your cars up and stuff. I think this one's in a little better shape. Of course. I don't think this is the original axle in it. No. No. Mm. Oh, the tire's coming off. Oh no. There we go. Still might not be the original axle. Hmm. Or someone's made a wheel. I don't know. That axle looks really, really wide. Hmm. Compared to this axle. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's still going around fine. Yeah. 
I really don't need these. I mean, <laughs> okay, so there's monkeys and there's mine. So, we think monk. Go. What do you guys I think? I think it'll be cool. Fun racing, fun racing. Fun racing. So I'm gonna beat you. Sorry. Can't intimidate me because I'm the intimidator. Remember that. Remember that. I'm the one who invented everything. <laughs> Asked Jeff Gordon one time. He said he was pretty comfortable behind the wheel until he looked in his mirror and seen that bow tie <laughs> right on his ass. Because yeah. remember, Rubbin's racing, guys. <laughs> he would. He'd get right up on you and he'd push you. He didn't yeah. care. He, yeah. was, he was out to have fun, and mm -hmm. he did. Yeah. Both these guys are legends. Yep, they are. And they kind of looked similar, you know, the big mm -hmm. porno mustache and the glasses and the cowboy hats. Yeah. But they made racing. They'll never they'll never be two racers like that again. I mean they raced mm -hmm. when especially the Richard Petty, you know, racing them five thousand pound cars, a real car, not just a souped up go kart because that's all they are. Yeah. Same engines, same transmissions, same rear ends, same frames. So when you're looking at a Chevy, you're not looking at a Chevy car. You're just looking at a fiberglass body mm -hmm. that has Chevy on it. Mm, it's not the same. It's no, they're not. The not like I said, they're just big, giant go-karts. Yeah. Really, I mean, a Chevy's not a Chevy. Ford's not a Ford. Dodge's not a Dodge. So when are we going to do the oh, racing? God. I don't know. We can race. <laughs> when, when you want to race? Whenever. You're strong enough to be with me. Well, if you feel like looking at my tail lights, I don't care. We'll race whenever. <laughs> when do you want to race? We can do it now. We can set up a figure eight track. Yeah. Your dad's figure eight track just to check the cars out. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do that. To All see right. how well they run. That'll be in the next video because this is an unboxing video. Okay. So you have to stay tuned. Yay! But we're going to do that tonight. We're going to film it tonight. So. Yeah. There you go. So as soon as we do our outro, I wonder if that'll fit on the table. That track. I don't know. We can try. If we put the leaf in it. Yeah, we have might have to do that. If we put the leaf in it. That figure just to try the cars out, and then we'll we'll. Set up the big track because I need to. I still need to clean it up a little bit more and stuff, yeah, so it don't yeah. run good. That's fine. And I got some parts coming for the other car that came with that other track, mm -hmm. that Corvette. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the brushes and the pickups. Right. Know. Right. I mean, it's got pickups, but it just came as a kit. It, I, I got a tune-up kit for it. We got so, some stuff coming up, don't we, Dweeb? Do we? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, I can't say. We got stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't say. Why not? Is this a surprise? Or? Well, it's going to be. It'll be fun. Where are we going? Oh, camping. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be cool. So... Kenny, <laughs> this will be our first adventure of the year. It'll be well, the first week of February. We are going to go to the, to the, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't ask me. Dang it. <laughs> I'm tipping my tongue. Fort Cooper. Yeah. We're going, to, we're going to Fort Cooper, and then once we leave Fort Cooper... We won't go on a camping adventure, and we got some adventures lined up for that. She's and really excited. And an unboxing we're gonna do. Yeah, and an unboxing and review. Yep. So she'll have videos yep. too. Mm -hmm. So that camping trip will be actually like three videos and yeah, and one. Mm -hmm. um, the one review I might do on its own. I don't know what you're gonna do, but. The thing. Oh, that'll be fun. What thing? <laughs> the thing for the truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll do it with you. I'll, I'll just set up my thing. Yeah, but I mean... We'll do it together. Anyway, that'll be... 
a separate. Yeah. I'll make right. that a separate video. Yes. So I'll have several videos because with one adventure. The other thing that I'm really excited about will be another video. Yeah. I've created a monster, but we can't tell you that because it's kind of a surprise because it's going to be our first adventure of the year. Yes. I mean, I know we went fishing, but that really wasn't an adventure. We just went fishing. This is our first adventure of the year. Yes. So, got some things coming for that. Yeah. And I got parts coming for the truck. I got everything coming for the Toyota. Thank God. Finally. And I just went ahead... I just went ahead. <laughs> head. Yes, I got head, head. Um, yeah. The head, I, I just went and bought a brand new one. Yeah. It was $604. But you get the cams, too, which that thing needed cams, so I was going to have to buy the exhaust cam because that's dual over the cam, 16 valve. I was going to have to lap all the valves in and hope that pinning on them seats came out. Right. You know, and everything... And so I was like, you know what? Because I have all the valves and everything, but I was like, I was still had to buy the cams. So we just bought a new head, and I figured while I'm in there, I'm just going to pull the front of the motor off. We got the water pump, the oil pump, timing chain, timing gears, rod bearings, main bearings, gaskets, oil pump. So she's, you know, I got plastic gauge gear heads. I don't know what that is, but... For those of you who don't know, when we get underneath that truck at the pan off, I'll tell you what the plastic gauge is for. But we figure, you know, because if the head's got a half a million miles, everything else does because that truck's never been apart. So no, I'm just going to rebuild it because, you know, you go putting all that compression on the top end on them weak bearings. Uh -huh. You know, you, you up the compression because anytime you put a new head on something, you know, you're not losing compression anymore because one cylinder was not on compression so you're putting all that pressure <laughs> down on bearings that have over half a million miles on it so it got new pistons rings the whole thing the whole nine yards so it's going to be hopefully i don't have to pull that engine out hopefully i've got room to maybe if i have to just unbolt the engine jack it up a little bit as long as i can get the pan off then i can do it in the vehicle rebuild so mm -hmm. the timing chain's never been replaced mm -mm. well nothing on that engine's ever been replaced other than like coil packs and yeah an alternator but as far as engine wise nothing's been done that's a true half a million mile truck mm -hmm. you know like a lot of guys oh yeah i got a half i got a million miles out of my toyota yeah but you changed the engine you changed the transmission you've done rear end work on it right. you know this is the only thing that's not original is the alternator, the fuel pump, and a radiator. And the belt. I'm not talking about belts. That's maintenance, honey. Um, I'm talking about parking. running. Yeah. You know, I mean. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? That's oh, that's yeah. maintenance. You can't count that like brakes. No. Well, well, of course not. There. That's maintenance. Tires. That's maintenance. I'm talking about that engine. Up until now, 100% half a million mile engine. Yep. I am going to save the bearings and stuff like that because I just think it's cool. My baby. My truck's getting good. I can't wait body. to take them bearings out and see see what they look like. Yeah. I have to get the brackets for the bumper too. I might. Well, I know I got two brackets, but I don't know if there's a left and right or if I got two rights or two lefts. Mm -hmm. I got two brackets, but. We're going to get her back on the road anyways, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, and then we just got minor stuff we'll have to do. It's going to need mm -hmm. two new tires on the back. Right. Because they're dry rotted. I haven't checked the front ones real good, but they were brand new when we parked it. Well, it's been sitting there. They only had a few miles on it. And it's going to need alignment. It is out of line because the tires that we took off the front, you could tell, was wearing. Mm -hmm. Just a little stuff like that. But the main thing, get that engine running, get right. it broke in, so... Yep, I'm excited. And then we should get another, you know, but that's original transmission, everything. All the running gears is all original. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. That's great. I'm <laughs> Half a million excited. miles. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. You're going to see this car whooping all over this oh, car. Oh, this car's going to be on the side of the road. 
Yeah, waiting on you to catch up because I'll no, feel because, bad for you. Because I'll ram it off the road. <laughs> no, I'll ram you off the road because remember, guys, Rubbin's races. Rubbin's racing. Okay, guys, so we're going to set up a track over here on the table. Just the, her dad's uh, just figure eight track. And um, let's see how well they work. Do you want to do the figure eight? Whatever you want to do, I don't care. We'll do the figure eight track. We just want to try the cars out. But while she's setting up the track, I'll clean these pickup. Yeah, okay, right. All right, while I'm setting up the track, she can clean up the pickup chute. Yeah, mm-hmm. This is your doing. I anyway. just sit, and you know what I do? I go, vroom! That's what I do. You look at kids, you look, budding, budding. <laughs> so the next video is gonna be these cars. Hopefully they run. They. He said they run, so. Yeah, but I don't understand. They put them both in the same box, and they charged you two yes. shipping. I know. I already said that. That's nuts. Was you paying attention? Because that's nuts. I already told him. Yeah, but I, I'm just kind of, I thought maybe they were coming in two separate boxes. And I ordered some Neo Magnets. Neodymium Magnets. Yeah, that's so I don't Neo fall off the. Denium Magnets. Going upside down. Yeah, for our other Corvettes, so. They'll, they'll just clip on where the motor is. he's a little cold. So, well, it, it won't go around the track with the body on. It's a little too heavy. Mm. It'll go around the track until it gets upside down and then it falls off. Right. So, uh, that'll be better performance. Plus, even just on its own track, mm -hmm. they're going to be running. Get, oh, we have another track coming, too. When's it coming? It says tomorrow, but I haven't seen any updates. So. Ooh. That would be cool if it we comes tomorrow. We can do the night thing tomorrow. Yeah, it's night club. Hopefully it's all there. But if not, we've mm -hmm. got Tyco track. We can mm -hmm. we can add to it if we have to. But you can set it up in four different things. Right. But with the other track we got, your dad's track, I'm not going to take Her dad's track is mint. It's perfect. I'm not going to use any of that track on any other sets. But the other two mm -hmm. uh, Tyco sets... Mm -hmm. The Daredevil and the Night Glow, they'll all interchange and we can build one big ass humongous set if we want. Right. Yeah. It's cool. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Monk. Monk says she's out. Hi, y'all. So, make sure to go check her channel out. Give her a big thumbs down and we'll see. Ow. The heck? We'll all in the next one. That the A. All right, okay. Let me. Let me make it fair to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to my channel, pick a video, and hit the thumbs down button twice. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> it'll cancel it. Really? <laughs> yeah. You hit the thumbs down button, mm -hmm. it gives you a thumbs down, but it, when you hit it again, it takes it away. So give her a big thumbs down, oh, give me a big good. thumbs down twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Whatever. So, Put that's it about it for now. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna set this up. I'll get yeah. this cleaned up. And, uh. But they're not bad, are they? Well, they're pretty dirty. Are they? I mean, they should be gold, like a brand new penny. Oh, yeah. The copper, yeah. Oh. So they've been used. Yeah, they're, they, I never said they were new. These, these are vintage. These are. I'm not sure what year I'd have to check, but, um, yeah, see, you know, like the the dark spots and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from the sparks and stuff. So I'll, I'll get that all cleaned off. And, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gone. Tires are in excellent shape. So the guy was right. They're, they are pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're very, very good condition. I got wider tires on mine than yours. Yeah, that will just slow you down more. No, I need wide tires because I'm going to be stomping. Whatever. Ooh, this has got a little something, something going on there. Ooh. Ooh. Woo. Ain't no turbo in that thing. Yeah, I didn't say it was turbo. Well, no, you can't. Turb, there's no turbo on electric now. But see? See that axle? What right? is that? That doesn't mean anything, <laughs> you know? It means. It's the it's one who holds the gun and goes the fastest. Uh, and how many times did I beat you the other night? Yeah, but did you watch a video? That was after. 
Yeah. Who actually won the drag races on the video? I did. I did. did. <laughs> you need to go watch it again. I did. I won. They were mine. I won. Not on the video. Not all of them. I didn't mind all of them. But I on the video, I won two out of three. <laughs> I'm going to say ready, set, go, and on go, we're going to hit it. Okay. Ready, set, go. Come on, catch up. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> all right. Ready, mm -hmm. set, Go. Oh wow, that was way ahead. Right. Ready, huh. set, go. Oh, I got oh. you. That was a good I race. I thought you were going to win that one. So did I. <laughs> because I was running the police car. Mm -hmm. And somehow she changed. I did but not. See, see the axle on that one? See the axle on this one? See the difference there? This one's got a hop-up kit in it. Hmm. Cool. Can you change that one? Make could, it better? Yeah, I can put a, a hop-up. Hop yes, I can put a hop-up kit in it. To make it fair. Or you gotta take that one out. You can't take this. No, because I'm not. No. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Alright. That's exactly what that is. Alright, we got things to do. We have to go. I'm admiring. You can admire them when they're going around in the figure eight and I'm beating your butt. But later on, we'll get, I can get a whole bunch of these. Mm -hmm. Like 50 of these things to oh, have yeah. on hand. Yeah. Yeah, these pickup shoes and brushes and stuff, you can get like 50 of them for like $15. Mm hmm And then just, you change know, whenever they start getting worn, yeah, you just change them out. They're real easy to change. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth Man of Legend. We're gone for now. Pretty cool knife. I like it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Well, next is shout. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys.